Hallelujah. Thank you. And we're going to start. So as you know, tonight, um, teaching on how to walk with God. Amen. Um, you may see me looking down because <laughs> my device is down here. Um, but bless the Lord. Amen. So I am teaching tonight on how to walk with God. And one may say, what does it mean to walk with God, right? Walking with God, it really means submission. It means holiness, righteousness, obedience. Um, walking with God, it means you are one with God. It's a unison. It's like you're connected to God. You're fellowshipping. You're communing with God. Amen. Um, and the Lord said to ask, who are you connected to? Think about it. Who are you connected to? The people in your life, people around you, who are you connected to? Are you connected to the true vine? Amen. It's, it's, it's a, it's a self-reflection. Who am I connected to tonight? You know, what am I connected to, right? You have to make sure that that connection is with the Lord. Amen. Um, bless the Lord. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Yes. So who are, how are you connected to? Amen. You have to make sure your connection is pure and it's the right source. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. So if you, if, you know, in the Bible, we read that. Please mute your mics as you come on. Thank you, guys. The Bible declares that Enoch, he walked with God. And they, you know, it said that he lived um, 365 years before God took him up. If you, you know, when you have time, you can read Genesis 5, 21 to 24. Um, some Jewish and Christian traditions interpret this as Enoch entered heaven alive. <laughs> he did not see death, right? Um, and I, you know, we know that there is a, you know, the Bible talk about the book of Enoch and so forth. Um, it shows that in order for Enoch not to see death, my God, he must have some connection, true connection, divine connection with the Lord. And he must have been walking with the Lord pure heartedly and being obedient to God's every word for him not to see death. Amen. And a few others, um, when we read in the Bible, it talks about, you know, walking with the Lord. We know Jesus, even though he was God and man, he walked with the Lord, right? You have Priscilla, you have Mary, you have Elijah, which is a fire prophet, right? He also did not see death, amen? He was also taken up, right, into glory. You have Moses and you have Abraham, the father, the father of many nations. You have David, even though David, you know, had a... I would say a messy life in terms of with women. God said that David was a man after his own heart. David walked with the Lord, right? He was after God's own art, um, own heart. And we have the apostle Paul. We know his life, you know, um, from Saul to Paul, right? But Paul walked with God after his conversion. Amen. After the Lord Jesus visited him, amen? He had an encounter, and we need an encounter. And he he walked with the Lord throughout his life. You know, when you read the epistles and, you know, all the books that he wrote, he walked with God. And walking with God means that you're saying, God, here I am, right? Here I am, God. Here I am, amen? It, examples of people in the Bible that says, here I am. We have Abraham. Um, if you're taking notes, Abraham in Genesis 22 and 1. Jacob, Genesis 31 and 11. Moses, Exodus 3 and 4. Samuel, 1 Samuel 3 and 4. Isaiah, Isaiah 6 and 8. Ananias, Acts 9 and 10. Amen. So one thing when I was you know, asking the Lord, you know, how do I begin and what do I say? And the Lord point out to me, what is one thing all these people had in common? They walk with God. What was one thing they had in common? And when I read all the scriptures, 
and looked at it, one thing they had in common was obedience. Very, very important. There we go. <laughs> obedience. They all were obedient to God. The Bible declares obedience is better than sacrifice, right? In John 14, 15, it says, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. Obedience, right? First Peter 1 Peter 1.14, as obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. Acts 5.29, but Peter and the apostles answered, we must obey God rather than men. We've seen it time and time again, where for some reason you think that a man's opinion holds and carries more weight than your father. Thinking about it doesn't even make sense. He is the almighty God. How can somebody else's opinion carries more weight than God? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But oftentimes we, we honor people um, to the point of idolatry where we rather hear what they say than do what the Lord says. You're out of order. You are out of order. If you're going to listen to any man or woman of God or whoever more than you hear God or do what they say rather than do what the Lord says, you're out of order. You're out of the will of God. You're in error because you're disobedient. You have to be obedient to God. We must obey God rather than men. Come on, somebody type in the word obedience one more time. Obedience. We want to echo that in the name of Jesus. Obedience. Obedience. We have to be obedient. We have to obey God. I, I'm, I'm going to keep on saying it. We have to obey God rather than man. When it comes on to, um, to le your leader, your leader may tell you something, but God tell you something else. Who are, who are you going to listen to? If God say go right, but your leader say, no, 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 I want you to turn left. Who are you going to listen to? Unfortunately, some people, they go left, but God is saying go right. Because I know it. Come on, Dioshka. I know the plans I have for you. It's for your good. I know what I have for you. It's for your good. It's for good and not of evil. I know what I have placed in you. And I know the journey and the path I want you to take. Go right. But nah, the man of God said to go left. My God, I got to be obedient. I got to honor the man of God. But you're not honoring God though. How are you going to honor man and dishonor God? Listen, if I'm going to follow you, you're going to be following Christ. Because you're not taking me to hell with you. So I follow you as you follow Christ because my goal is to follow Christ. So if you're not going in Christ's direction, I'm coming with you. The devil is a liar. You're not leading me straight to hell. No, I want God. I want his will for my life. What he said to do, that's what I'm going to do. You can say what you want to say over to the left, but my God is saying, go, my God is saying, go right. And right I'll go. Because you know what? Left is wrong. <laughs> left is wrong. And you're setting me in the wrong path. You're leading me astray, away from the will of me. You're leading me out of the will of my father. Listen, I'm coming here to please you. I want to please my daddy because I want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. That's what I want to hear. You telling me, well done, don't carry weight if God is saying, listen, you're in error. You're not doing the will of me. You are not doing what I call you to do. I'm not going left with you. I'm going right. Yes, you're my leader and I respect and honor you, but respectfully, man of God, my God is saying go right. So you're off. I don't know what part, but you're off somewhere. My God is saying go right. So that's where I'm going to go. Amen. And let's continue. And in Isaiah 1 19, it said, if you are willing and obedient, you, you shall eat the good of the land. If you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Luke 6, 46. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? We must obey God. We must obey 
God. Amen? Obedience, I said before, is better than sacrifice. Amen? It, it's what God says. The Bible says if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's Galatians 5.16. This can never be accomplished with our Holy Spirit. Amen? You may be asking yourself, or some may be asking themselves, do I need Holy Spirit to walk with God? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You need the Spirit of the Lord to walk with God. Right? You, you Listen to me. This is why you see so many fleshy and carnal people. You know why? Because they believe that they can do it on, on their own. They believe that they can do it by themselves. You can be... you. What are we without God? We are nothing without God. We can never fulfill our God-given destiny without Holy Spirit. We can never accomplish anything of value without Holy Spirit. We need Holy Spirit. We need Holy Spirit, the mighty God of Zion. This is why so many people, and you see them because, you know, um, social media has created a you know platform where anybody can just freely come and make a video. You could call yourself, you know, pastor this or, or or arch this to the third and fourth power and all these things. And the thing is, when you check their fruit, it ain't it. Something is not right. If you have discernment, if you have discernment, you will know that they're not walking with God. Uh-uh, I'm not talking about a little mess up where you mess up and you repent because we're human. You mess up, you repent, and you keep it going. You pick your cross up and continue to follow Christ. No, these people are manipulators. They live in sin. They're part of different organizations. You can tell by discerning of spirits that they're not walking with God. It, it's, it's no way, it's not possible. If you have discernment, you will know. If your eyes are open, you will know. Amen? Now, I hope not you guys, but some may ask, who is Holy Spirit? Very important question, right? Who is Holy Spirit? First and foremost, Holy Spirit is a real person. He's not an it, and he is not a that. Okay? I remember one time I was when I when I used to be on Clubhouse and this this person from a, another um, belief. Um, I think he was a, a black Israelite, you know, the, the the black Israelite Jew, and he came on the platform and I'm telling you, he was talking about how Holy Spirit is is it is like it is the law, you know, <laughs> and something ignited in me. And Holy Spirit had to calm me down because I'm like, listen, you don't, you just don't know. You're going to put some respect on his name, though. You, I, I literally said, you're going to put some respect on his name. You are not to, about to call Holy Spirit an it. He's not an it. I literally, and I was just, it was the fire of God in me that stirred up. Holy Spirit had to calm me down. I was like, how dare you disrespect my comforter like this? How dare you res disrespect the spirit of almighty God? Uh-uh, you're going to put some respect on his name in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, <laughs> right? Just indignation. That's exactly what it was. And Holy Spirit had to call me that I was so upset, but I didn't sin. The Bible said to be angry and sin not. I didn't sin, but I was very upset. I said, how dare you speak about Holy Spirit like that? You put some respect on his name. You hear me? <laughs> Bless the Lord, all right? He's a real person. He is the third of the Godhead and equally important, right? He is the spirit of God that was sent to lead us into all truth and establish the kingdom here on earth. The breath of life, our helper, our comforter, he is God. Come on now. He is God. Listen, he brings change, transformation, clarity, revelation, and we cannot do without him big up holy spirit every time okay big up holy spirit always we gotta big him up he gotta get what is due to him amen 
yeah, no longer we will take disrespect where people disrespect the Holy Spirit like he's nothing or he's less than. Uh uh-uh, uh, the devil is a liar. Not on my watch. You're going to put some respect on his name. You, he is God. He is God. You're going to put some respect on his name. Don't play. You're going to put some respect on his name. <laughs> he wants to be your personal person. He wants to be your best friend and your confidant. Amen. You may say, how do I build a relationship with Holy Spirit? First, you got to submit. You got to deny your flesh and allow him to govern your life. Allow him to be your comforter. Allow him to lead you into all truth. And first and foremost, let me say this. You must be obedient to the spirit of God. You have to be obedient to Holy Spirit. We do not want to grieve the Holy Spirit. Right. When we're in error, when we're in sin, living in sin, that's grieving the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit is a person. He has a whole personality. I found this on the web. Listen, guys, I'm sorry. That's out of Siri. Siri is so false. Siri, no. Siri, don't be minding her business. Okay. I'm not talking to Siri. I'm sorry, y'all. She's just talking like mind your business. Let me have to rebuke you tonight in Jesus' name. (laughs) Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. So the Lord wanted me to share a testimony, right, Um, about my walk and my journey. And I remember I was walking with God, or so I thought. But um, I had a religious mindset. And not only that, you know, I, I was... I was heavily perverted, you know, spirit of perversion was very dominant in my life. And I thought I was walking with God. And, you know, I had to see that I was in error because sometimes people can come on platforms and act like they never done nothing. They perfect. They holy than thou, right? But I was in error and I was heavily perverted. But the Lord had to put me at a place to show me, listen to me, daughter, this is not it. Because when perversion hit, I'm now straying out of the will of God. I'm not, listen to me, when you're walking with God, change and transformation comes. Perpetual growth, okay? As Faustina, um, Faustina have a book called Everybody Has a Story. And she always said, um, Everybody is an ex somebody, right? Your past does not define you. And and I understand we are not perfect, but in him, we're made perfect, right? So we have to stay in his will for him to do the transformation. We have to stay in his will for him to bring forth that change. And deliverance is a process. Everything is a process. It is no popcorn stuff around here. Everything is a process. Amen. And the Lord gave me a demonstration. I love demonstration, y'all. I'm very practical. Amen. And the Lord gave me a demonstration. So I'm going to go um, and take my camera off for just a few. Just give me like a few seconds and I'm going to come back on. Okay. But I'm here. I'm muted instead of turning my camera off, but that's okay. So the Lord showed me this. You're masked up. You know what this is? This is when you don't walk in the will of God. This is when you don't walk in the will of your father. Okay, Bando, shut up, Andiosa. This is when you don't walk in the will of your father. When you're not walking in the grace of God, when you're being disobedient, when you're following your leader to left, when God said to come right, he said, you're masked up. The lies, pride, jealousy, envy, bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, hate, strife, manipulation, disobedience, rebellion, rage, anger, deceit, lust, control, toxicity, negativity come on now evil and wickedness mighty god you're masked up 
You saw what I look like before, right? You saw what I look like. Hey, come now, my secret about. You saw what I look like before now. Can you recognize me? Woman of God, identify yourself. Man of God, identify yourself. Put your mask up. Who are you? You can't tell this is me under here. Come on now. You can't tell this is me. This is this would this was what I would look like spiritually when I'm not walking in the will of God, when I'm not walking with God. When I'm not walking with God, I'm masked up. I, I don't even know my identity right now. I can't even recognize myself right now. But you see, to the carnal mind, I'm okay. Because the carnal mind doesn't understand the things of the spirit. So I am like I'm okay right now. But I'm not okay. I need right now. I need help. I need deliverance right now. But guess what? You got some blind people with me that can't see. So they don't see that I'm crying out for help. They don't see that my soul is lost. They don't see that I'm on my way to God. And I'm on my way to And see this, but you have no discernment of spirit. You have no discernment. You have no discernment. You can't hear me now. I can hear you now. Go ahead, Prophet Hashem. You have no discernment, so you can't see that I'm masked up. You can't see me, but this is what I look like spiritually. I'm filled with toxicity. I'm bound up and I need freedom. I need freedom. I can't follow you no more because you're leading me to help. I don't want to stay in my mess. I don't want to stay bound up. I want freedom. I need to be free. The Lord said if there's no repentance, I'm thrown up. Then comes death. Why? Death, death want to snuff the life out of you. Because the wages of sin is still there. The gift of sin is still there. Didn't change. But thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his grace. Because we delivered and set free. Amen? So you guys need your line, please. Thank you. So thank you, Jesus, for the finished work on the cross. We should have been dead by now, but God, but God. But you know what the Lord said? The spite of your mess, you still have a message. Despite of your mess, you still have a message because God still cares about you. He does not care about you any less because you're in your mess. God said to reach, reach for him. And he's going to start to strip away. He's going to start to take away. You're still masked up though, but he's, he's taking away some stuff. He's taking away some stuff. Yeah, but you have to understand there's layers and levels to this thing. It's not a one-time thing. There's layers to this thing, but he's taking away some stuff. Okay? He's taking, don't, don't go and be yoked up again with that thing because he's taking away air. Come on, your shatter. Don't go and get back to, to where you were in your past. Don't go back to your vomit. He's taking away some stuff. He's tripping you off. But you have to understand, you've been packed up for so long. You've been for a long time. Understand there's a lot of this. Understand that he's still working on your back, but do not stay in your mess. Do not stay in your sin. Who will work it out for you because he is the he is the deliverer. He is the deliverer. He is your deliverer, your healer, your way maker. Is there anything too hard for
for God to do for you? No, they ain't. No, they ain't. You got to take the mask off. You got to take the mask off. But you see, when God started to unmask you, there's still layers that he has to deal with. So you got to completely surrender and submit to him because fear is coming. Doubt is coming. This belief is coming. The enemy is coming with lies upon lies. And you're still a little tainted. You're still a little captured. You're still a little masked up. But understand that the Lord is saying, continue to reach, says God. Continue to reach. It comes to chaos. Continue to reach because I am here for you. Continue to reach. Do you know that you will have eyes, but you don't have sight? How many people have eyes, but no sight? My God, because they can't see anything in the spirit. They have ears, but they cannot hear because they cannot hear in the spirit because they're spiritually blank, says God. They are spiritually blank, says God, mighty God of Zion. Hallelujah. This is why false teachers can deceive and manipulate so many people and have them in circles. And they live, my God, in circles going around and round and round because they keep lying to them and they keep believing because they have eyes, but they cannot see because they're masked up. My God, they have ears, but they cannot hear because they, they're masked up. Amen. They locked up in the ears. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. So listen. And guess what? You be moving in the wrong direction. You're moving in the wrong direction. You're not moving in his direction. God said to tell you, turn around. What do I mean? Repent. Repent. It seems that repent is a password for many people. But the Lord said, turn around. Repent, says God. Repent and reach. My God of Zion today, he commanded you, shut up. Hallelujah. He sees what place you are. And he gives you chances to repent. He gives you chances to release. He gives you chances to come to him as your God. Mighty God, mighty God. Chances upon chances the Lord gives us. Amen. The Lord said to tell his people, Stop collaborating with the accuser of the brethren. When you allow the enemy to mask you up, when you allow the enemy to deceive you, when you do his will, you're collaborating with the enemy and you need to be collaborating with Stop collaborating with the enemy, says God. Hallelujah. The Lord said, when you decide, like the prodigal son, to return home to daddy, he is waiting to receive you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is ready to receive you. Hallelujah. The Lord said, where have you been, my son? Where have you been, my daughter? I have been waiting for you to turn around. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God, the Lord said to repent and turn from disobedience because the Lord knows what you're going through, he knows your end from your beginning. Amen. The Lord will begin to work even the more in you. Hallelujah. But you understand that God doesn't go against your will. You have to want this thing. You have to want to be set free. You have to want to be delivered. You have to want to walk with him. He will not force himself on you. You have to want to walk with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have a choice. And when you choose, you choose this day whom you will serve. When you decide what side you're on, then you will see change. God will start the delivering process. And when you decide, God, I want to walk with you, he will take the blinders off. He will unclog your hair. He will regain your sight. You will start to see things for what they truly are. We don't want to have fruitless fruit. Fruitless fruit is where you bear fruit that is not from God, that's tainted, that is rotten, that is seedless, like some, some fruits in your grocery store. They're not real fruit, they're fruitless fruit. They ain't real. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is when you know that you're compromised. 
Then you have to, let's go. You have to compromise. The Lord said to tell you, do not let because they're cute that you don't check their fruit. Don't let because they're cute you don't check their fruit. Don't be manipulated by the spirit of Jezebel. Don't be manipulated by that seductive spirit. Check the fruit. I don't care what you look like. I understand that you prophesy in my name. You can preach, you can evangelize, you can cast out demons and still not walk with God. How? Remember the Bible says, depart from me, you work with the iniquity. I never knew you. But if you're working, but guess what? You ain't his. You are, you're not his. You are not his. God said to ask you, who are you aligned with? Who is your alliance? Who is your alliance truly with? What side are you on? My God. And God said he will continue to move. And he will continue to work. And he will continue to deliver. Hallelujah. And he will continue to uproot and dig until there is nothing left that looks like the enemy. My God. Now. You know who you are, your identity, your identity. You now know who you are. You know why? Because the mask came off. The mask came off. The layers came off. It all came off. My God of Zion. Let's continue. The Lord said, what side are you on? Hallelujah. What are some of the things that will make... That we can make practical, that we can make practical in our lives where we will only be hearers only, but not doers. Um, where we will open, not just be hearers rather, but also be doers. What are some of the things we can make practical where we're not just hearers, but we are also doers? Amen. Some of the thing is we pray, we be obedient to his every word, we fast. Right? These are the things we make practical in our lives. These are the things we must do as a believer. We pray, we fast, be obedient to his every word, feast on the word, read your Bible. Amen. We we love love yourself because some people don't love themselves, unfortunately, because they've been lied to all the they all the, the years of existence. People have been lying to them. The enemy has been using people to speak deceit, to speak condemnation. Please mute your line, guys. God bless you. To speak deceit, to speak condemnation in their lives. So they don't love themselves. So you got to love yourself. When you love yourself, then you'll love your neighbor as yourself. That's a command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Believe God without a doubt, without fear. Because we need faith in order to please God. Amen. The Bible said without faith, is it, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, if this tablet don't behave, I'm going to blood it up in Jesus' name. <laughs> I'm going to apply the blood of Jesus. It better, it better respect itself and behave, okay? You, you stay put. <laughs> the blood of Jesus over this tablet right now. Amen. And follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Very important. Very important. You have to follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit. So the Lord said we have to step check. What is step check? The Bible said the steps of a righteous man, they're ordered by the Lord. If you're not in conformity to his will, then your step, your steps rather are not ordered by the Lord. They're ordered by the devil or your mind of God. If they're not ordered by God, who are they ordered by? They're ordered by someone else or something else, right? They're ordered by something other than God. Hallelujah. The Lord said you better step check. <laughs> step check. Check your steps. Who you stepping with? Is it God or is it something? Amen. Is it God? Is it the devil? Or is it a, a man of God that you value their opinion more? than how you value God. Step check. Um, the Lord said to ask this question, how you find it difficult to submit to him? He said, if so, you need to check the pattern of your life. 
And the Lord said, when you do so, you need to submit to him, resist the devil, and he will flee. Amen? Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. If you're walking with the Lord, you have no choice but to bear good fruits. So if your fruits are sour or spoilt, then you need to make a 180 turn because you're out of the will of God. But you see, God is faithful because he will leave the 99 and he will come back for the one. So we're going to ask Holy Spirit to cultivate his fruit in us, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen? So tonight, you may have heard everything I've said. And you're saying, I've really turned away from God. I've really turned it out of his will. I'm not walking with God. And you're not fulfilling his purpose in your life. I want to resubmit my life to God's divine plan for me. I don't want to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. The Lord said, repent tonight and turn. So he gave me a prayer and we're going to say it. Amen. So everyone, can you mute your line, please? Thank you guys so much. Mute your lines, please. Thank you. Amen. So we're going to say, Father God, righteous judge, I repent for being disobedient and walking the wrong way. Forgive my ignorance, O oh Lord. I want to walk with you wholeheartedly. From this day forth, take my hands, Holy Spirit, and lead me. Sorry about that, guys. And lead me into all truth. Deliver, restore, and make me as one with Holy Spirit. Destroy every altar that has been erected and working against my life and bloodline in Jesus' name. Destroy their idols, all covenants, oaths, pacts, agreements, and any other connected thing. I repent on behalf of my forefathers that co-labored or collaborate with the enemy. Destroy all ties and connection. I will no longer be tossed between two opinions. I only want what you have for me. In Jesus' name, amen. And the Lord said to begin to call some spirits um, by their functioning name. So I will, I will be obedient and do that. So Father God, we thank you that your people have repented. We thank you now, God, and we call out and we command every spirit of disobedience, lawlessness, retrogression, mind binding, sabotage, torment, failure, doubt, fear, anti-progress, instability, Jezebel, Ahab, Leviathan, pride, python, water spirit, lies, jealousy, envy, bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, hate, strife, rage, rebellion, manipulation, deceit, lust, and asmodeus, control, toxicity, negativity, wickedness, and evilness. Every spirit that I've called out okay. under the sound of my voice. I command you right now to loose the people of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the fire of the Lord to torment you now. I command you to make your way out, out of the lives and out of the bloodline of the people of God now. All you foul spirit, I command you to go now. I command you and your subordinates and connected spirits to go now in Jesus name. I command you to go right now up and out and you make your way out of the people of God. 
Asmodeus, lust, make your way out. Deceit, anger, rage, make your way out. Rebellion, make your way out. Manipulation, strive, hate, make your way out now. Resentment, unforgiveness, up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Envy, jealousy, pride, up and out. Lies, water spirit, make your way out, make your way out. Python, you uncoil yourself right now from the people of God. Uncoil yourself now. Uncoil yourself. Make your way out. Make your way out now. Make your way out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Make your way out now. Make your way out now. Leviathan, by the finger of God, we cast you out. Up and out. Jezebel, make your way out. Take Ahab with you. Instability, anti-progress. Out, 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 out. Failure, fear, doubt. Up and out. Make your way out. All the way out now. Sabotage. Mind bending and binding. Retrogression. Lawlessness. Disobedience. We break your altars. We break your covenants. We break your curses, your oaths, your pacts, your agreement. Right now, every tattoo burned by fire in the name of Jesus. Every jewelry taken off now in Jesus' name. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Every altar destroyed. We break it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Make your way out of the lives of the people of God. Make your way out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Find your exit now. Find your exit now. Out I break every powers of witchcraft right now, every altar right now. I bind the hand of every witch that is operating in your life. Out, out, up and out. You continue to make your way out, make your way out, make your way out, make your way out, make your way out. We burn the tattoos by fire. We burn the tattoos by fire. We take off every garment out. All you foul spirit, I bind you as one. I address you as one and I command you to go up and out, up and out, all the way out. Take everything with you. I command every water spirit, every spirit spouse, I bind you with chains of fire. Up and out, angels of the Lord, begin to torment these demons. Begin, begin to torment, begin to torment, chains of fire, whip them, whip them, whip them together. Bind them as one, up and out. Make your way out of the people of God right now, up and out, up and out. Their body is the temple of God. It is the host of the Holy Ghost. How dare you trespass on God's property? Make your way out. Every subordinate and connected spirit, out, out. I drive you out now. Let the power of the Holy Ghost flush you out, out of their soul, out of their soul now in Jesus' name. Their soul will be whole in Jesus' mighty name. Every soul wound, God, I pray that you will visit it, oh Father. And I pray that you will bind up every soul wound, oh Father. Oh, saying soul wound, oh God. Bind it up, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you now for destroying every altar of witchcraft. We thank you now, Father, for delivering them, mighty God. Hallelujah. From every encroachment, God. I pray that you will bind up their soul wounds, oh Father. Hallelujah. Uproot everything that is not like you. Up and out. Up and out. Spirit of Kundalini, we uncoil you from their spine. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. We cut your head off. We torment you with fire. Holy Spirit, intensify the fire. Intensify the whipping tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, visit them where they're at. Visit them where they're up and out. Up and out. Make your way out of these bodies right now in the name of Jesus. Up and out. Up and out. Your time is up tonight. Up and out right now in Jesus' name. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. We thank you, God, for visiting their soul wound, oh Father. They will no longer, mighty God, hallelujah, be bound up in their soul wherever their soul is caged, oh Father. I pray that you will uncage them now, Father. Gather every fragment of their soul, every piece, hallelujah, right now, God, and put it back together as one, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the healing of their soul. Your soul will be Behold, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, break every chain, break every chain, mighty God, every mind binding spirit, God, break, 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 break all you demons that I just called out, you and your subordinates and connected spirits, I command you to leave the people of God, they will walk with God, they will walk with God, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of depression and oppression, I command you to go. I bind you up with chains of fire. I command you to go up and out. Up and out. Syria, bind you up too. Shut up. I command you right now. Up and out. 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 Up and out in Jesus' mighty name. Make your way out. Make your way out.
Make your way out, up and out, up and out, all the way out. Every fragment, every particle, every piece is up and out, up and out. Thank you for the cleansing power. Yes, Lord. Drive out every unclean spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. Cast it all out. Drive it all out into dry and desolate place. Now in the name of Jesus, up and out, up and out. Up and out, up and out. Anyone's soul that is caught in a mirror, Father, we thank you for the breaking of that mirror and we thank you for the uncaging of their soul. Father, I thank you that Jesus came to set the captives free. Receive your healing, receive your deliverance. We break all powers of darkness now in your life, wherever that there is an altar right now in the name of Jesus concerning your life that's connected to you. I destroy it right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every spirit that caused ailment and sickness, spirit of infirmity, I bind you up now. I stuff you up with the fire of the Holy Ghost and I command you to be of their body, be of every ligament, be of their bloodstream, be of their minds, be of every body part. We command every body spirit up and out now in Jesus' name. We command every joint pain to cease and desist now. Up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out, all the way out the way out. Now, take everything that you brought with you right now. There is a divorce. There's a divorcement in the realm of the spirit. The papers have been destroyed. Every paper of agreement has been ripped up in the spirit realm. I command you to be up and out now. Make your way out of these body parts. Make your way out. Make your way out. Make your way out. Make your way out. Every contract terminated. Make your way out. Make your way out. Every edict. Out. Out. Every order. Every order. Every edict. Destroy. Make your way out. 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 Every altar. Every idol. Out. Out. Every covenant. Curse. Everything. We're destroying it all now. We're destroying it all now. We destroy the altar. We command everything connected to come out. 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 Up and out. Up and out. We destroy every works of the enemy now. We destroy the works of the enemy now. We destroy the works of the enemy now. Destroyed by fire. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come up in here. Come up in here, Holy Spirit. Come up in here and deliver your people. Come up in this place and set the people of God free. Up and out. You make your way all the way out. Every part of you, every particle, every fragment, every piece is up and out. Everything that is not like God is destroyed now in Jesus' name. Every spirit that is monitoring the people of God, we blind and gut out their eyes now and we cast you in dry and desolate place now in Jesus' name. In dry and barren places where we cast you. Holy Ghost, have your way, minister to the hearts of your people. Yes, I command every demon, every demon that is tied to every person under the sound of my voice let them go now let them go now in jesus name every stubborn demon we say up and out now in the name of jesus come out 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 make your way out make your way out from all infirmity make your way out spirit of infirmity i command you to go i command you to go up and out i destroy all your altars all your oaths your packs your agreement up and out 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 you make your way all way out you leave nothing behind you gather all your wicked works and you leave right now up and out up and out up and out i said let the fire of the lord intensify angel of the lord continue to whip continue to whip them continue to whip them and you will not spew lies as you leave these bodies you will not spew lies as you leave the body part of the people as you leave the people of god as you leave their bodies you will not spew lies up and out you make your way out you lying demon i shut your mouth up now with fire come out in jesus name up and out up and out you make your way out now Make your way out now, all the way out, all the way out now in Jesus name. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost torment you. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost torment you. I want you guys to breathe in and out three times, in through your nose, out through your mouth three times. Inhale and exhale. Glory to God. Father, as they inhale and exhale, we thank you for your fire. We thank you. Every, every mocking spirit, we bind you up now with chains of fire and we cast you in the abyss. Make your way out. Angels of the Lord, torment every, every 
mocking spirit. Torment them now. Torment them now. Torment them now. The people of the Lord will be free. The people of the Most High God will be free. Torment them. Increase the torment. Increase the torment. Make your way out. You can laugh all your way to the abyss. Laugh all your way to barren places. That's all right. You laugh all your way there. Up and out. You make your way out. I break all holes. I break all hold right now in the name of Jesus that you have over the people of God. Loose their minds now. Loose their stuff. And as you leave, everything that you have stolen, you return sevenfold because the thief has been found. You're going to return everything you take from them sevenfold in the mighty name of Jesus. You make your way out. Make your way out, up and out, up and out. We break all holes. We break all holes, all ties. We cut now in Jesus' name. We sever it all now in Jesus' name. We break every stronghold. We destroy and overrule every strong man now, up and out, up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Make your way out, make your way out, make your way out, up and out, up and out, up and out. We break your hole. We break your grips. We break your ties. You take everything with you. Be tormented by the fire of God. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Continue to minister to your people. Continue to minister to the hearts of your people. Continue to bind up their soul wound. Father, even the ones that have been molested, Father God, hallelujah. I pray that you will heal them now. Touch the mighty God of Zion. I pray that you deliver them from every hurt and every pain and every torment, God. I thank you, mighty God of Zion, that there will be no backlash, no retaliation. I thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. Continue to torment every spirit. Drive them all out in Jesus' mighty name. Cast them where they belong in dry and barren places in the mighty name of Jesus. God will be your only stronghold in Jesus' mighty name. You will not be encroached by demonic entity up and out, 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 up and out. Continue the torment, continue the torment, continue the torment, continue the torment, continue the torment. Everything, everything that they have taken after return seven for make your way out. Make your way out. You will not control or manipulate or torment the lives of the people of God. You will make your way out now in Jesus' name. Up and out. Up and out. Make your way out. I drive you out now in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you to go in Jesus' mighty name. We're not intimidated around here. You make your way out. Every stubborn demon, we release the fire of God to torment you. You're not bigger than our God. You make your way out, out now in Jesus' mighty name, all the way out, all the way out, up and 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 out. Every water spirit, we break every hole, every water spirit, we break it now. We break, 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 break in Jesus' name. You open up your mouth and you declare and decree a thing. And God said, he's going to establish it. You open up your mouth and you speak those things that are not as though they were. And God says he's going to move mightily in your life. Open up your mouth and speak. Open up the mouth and declare and decree what the word of the Lord says. God said he's going to honor his word. He is going to honor his word. He said he that begun a good work in you. He is going to see to completion. He said to open up your mouth and decree and declare what you want. In the mighty name of Jesus. We break all hold now in Jesus mighty name. We thank you, God, for doing what only you can do. Eh? Come on, Neil. What do you require from the Lord tonight? Shake him on the Okoska Tadabaha. Yeah, Yabahando Lobokosa. The Lord said he's releasing blessings tonight. He come on the Koskoto Rebende Baha. Open up your mouth and release what you want. Break him on the Oskatabahando Loboho. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Oh, you foul spirit, you come out of the people of God now in Jesus' name. In dry and barren place you go. Father, continue to cause your people to purge. As they release in the atmosphere, God, what they need from you. I thank you, God, for answered prayer now. Thank you, God, that prayers that have been backed up in the spirit realm are released tonight in Jesus' name. I literally see chains falling of what looked like a prison in the spirit realm. The Lord is releasing your stuff. I'm seeing boxes upon boxes. The Lord is ready. The Lord is releasing your stuff. Continue to proclaim. Continue to declare and decree. Because the Lord is answering prayers tonight. Hallelujah. We say thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, God. Yeah. You will not leave the same way you came on here tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not leave the same way in Jesus' name. We bind up the spirit of death, premature death. I arrest you. I arrest you now in Jesus' mighty name. It's not yet their time. Spirit of death. It is not yet their time. I command you right now. You will go to dry and barren place. Now I break you off their bloodline. I don't care what age, who, so-and-so died. They will not die before their time. They will not die before their time. I come against accidents, incidents right now, fatalities, injuries. I come against it all right now. I'm seeing somebody in a coma. I bind you up in Jesus' name. You will not touch the people of God. They will not go in coma. They will not go in coma. We reject the spirit of death now. We stand in the gap, not just for ourselves, but for our family. And we proclaim life and life more abundantly. We say we will not die before our time. We will not be in no coma. It's not our portion. The devil is a liar. We will not go in a coma. We come against you and tear down every embargo of the enemy. We rip it down right now in the name of Jesus. We trample upon every serpent and scorpion. And every powers of the enemy, we trample upon it now in Jesus' name. We bring it down. We bring it down. We bring it down. The Lord has given us power over the enemy. We bring down every high thing that tried to exalt itself above the knowledge of God. We tear you down now. We tear down every lies of the enemy. We tear down everything that is not like God. Everything that has been erected in our lives that God did not erect. We tear it down. We mash it up right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit. Come through here. Hallelujah. Break down every barrier and every wall in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you tonight. Hallelujah. We know we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. So we tear down every demonic embargo right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. And the people around us will fall in alignment to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, they will fall in alignment to your word. Father, as they walk with you, God, I thank you that their lives will not be the same as they go on a deeper level or in, Father God, hallelujah, a different realm and dimension in you, God. You will blow their mind. They will not be the same in Jesus' name. They will look different. My God, they will not be masked up. They will talk different. They will sound different. They will feel different, oh God, because you're lifting the weight. Come on, kiss, Kata. You are lifting the weight, Mama Mariusha. You are lifting the weight of your people. Thank you, God. You are lifting every burden, God. The things that have been weighing down your people, you're lifting it off, God. Yes, as they submit to you, as they resist the enemy, I thank you that the devil must flee in Jesus' name. They will submerge themselves in the things of the Lord. No longer will you allow the things of the world to occupy your time. No longer will you make excuses why you can't seek God, why you can't fast, why you can't pray. The devil is a liar. You will seek God with your whole heart. You will not hide some things because God see and know everything. But everything will be exposed so the, so the God you serve can deliver you and set you free. I command everything in Stacey's belly right now. Every altar in her belly, we destroy it by the fire of God. We break it down now. And we destroy it right now. We command everything in her belly to come out now in Jesus' name. Every water spirit that is lodged in the waters of her belly, I command you to go. We destroy your altars now in Jesus' name. We command you to go up and out, up and out, all the way out. All the way out of her belly now. Up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out. We thank you, God, for cleaning Diana's windows to her soul. Thank you, God, for taking off every scale off of her eyes, for cleaning the windows to her soul now. Every spirit, up and out, up and out, up and out, all the way out. Loose them now. Loose them now. Up and out, all the way out. All the way out, all the way out, all the way out, 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 out in Jesus' mighty name. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Angel of the Lord, continue to torment. 
Continue to torment. Let the fire of the Lord permeate you, Nosifa. Let the fire of the Lord permeate you right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in Jesus' mighty name, let the fire of the Lord permeate you and purge out everything that is not like God. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in Jesus' name. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in Jesus' name. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall upon you now. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. We want to have an encounter with you, God. Have your way. Hallelujah. Everything is in their belly that is not like you, God. Burn, burn, burn. Every altar destroy. Burn. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. You're going to be refined tonight, says God. Because the refiner is here. And he's released and he's refined. The fire says, God, you shall be refined in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Out of Stacy's belly now. Out, 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 out. Oh, you will cause her no pain either. You will cause her no, listen to me now. You will cause her no harm and you will cause her no pain as you leave. I destroy your work. You lose her belly now in Jesus' name and you make your way out all the way out. Out of her belly now. Angel of the Lord continue to torment this stubborn demon. Make your way out of her belly right now in Jesus' name. Up and out. Out of her womb. Out of her belly. Out, out, out now. Make your way out now. Let the fire of the Lord torment you. Let the fire of the Lord torment you. Out, 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 out. For Janelle also, let the fire of the Lord torment every spirit in their belly, every spirit in their stomach right now. Let the fire of the Lord, angel of the Lord, continue to torment these demons. Everywhere they're lodging tonight, torment them. Increase the torment with chains of fire. Torment them. Rocco, make your way out. Make your way out. We destroy every altar in their bellies right now in Jesus' name. Wherever mighty God of Zion, there's blood crying out. I pray, God, that you forgive as they have repented. And I thank you now, God, that the enemy has nothing to accuse them of, Father, as they have repented and turned. They have, stand in the, they have stood in the gap for their family, for the ones before them, God. And I thank you now for their deliverance. I command you foul spirits to make your way out. Make your way out, up and out, up and out, all the way out, out of their bellies now, in Jesus' name. Out of their bellies right now. Out, 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 out. Make your way out. Make your way out. Out, 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 out. All the way out. You will cause no harm, no pain. You will leave nothing behind. You will not cause any sickness. Out, 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 out. All the way out. All the way out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Make your way out. Make your way out. Make your way out. Out all the way, all the way. Continue to make your way out. Take three deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Three times. Three times. In through your nose, out through your mouth. If you have to use the restroom, go and use it. That everything that is not like God be purged out tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the fire of the Holy Ghost torment. Every spirit, their subordinates and connected spirits, up and out. Everything that you have taken, you will return sevenfold. Right now in Jesus' name, everything that you have planted in them, you're going to take it back with you to a dry and barren place in Jesus' mighty name. That the power of the Holy Ghost rest upon your people tonight. You continue to make your way out. Out, out, out in Jesus' mighty name. All the way out. Right now in Jesus' name. All the way out. All the way out. We drive you out now. Out, out, out. Make your way out right now. Right now, make your way out in Jesus' mighty name. Make your way out in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you, as the, as the even as we get off the Zoom, the Lord will continue to purge you. I see angels ministering to some. The Lord will continue to purge you. Every pain above her belly button. Right now in Jesus' name, we command you to cease and desist now. Every spirit that is manifested 
Right now, in, thank you, Holy Spirit. Right now, in Jesus' name, we cut every spiritual umbilical cord. Brokomando. Everything that she's connected to in the spirit, we cut it now. We cut it now. Every spiritual umbilical cord, we cut it right now. We sever it now. We sever it now. We sever every ties. We say, I command you, foul spirit, to loose her now. We command you to go. We command you to go. We cut every spiritual umbilical cord. And we command you, foul spirit, to go now in Jesus' name. You make your way out, up and out, all the way out. All the way out in Jesus' mighty name. All the way out. We kill every spiritual babies. We destroy every altar, every egg right now in the name of Jesus. We destroy it all now. And we cut every spiritual umbilical cord right now in Jesus' mighty name. Up and out, up and out, up and out, all the way out. All the way out in Jesus' name. You continue to make your way out. You will not go back down, but you will come out. Now in Jesus' name, let the fire of the Lord torment you right now. Let the fire of the Lord, angels of the Lord, continue to torment. Continue to torment with chains of fire. Thank you, Lord, for the purging of your people. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every spirit that is attached to Lueva, I command you to go. I release the fire of the Lord to torment you now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in Jesus' name. Right now, up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out. Let the fire of the Lord torment you. Up and out in Jesus' name. Up and out. We command every spirit and its subordinates to make your way out. Up and out. All the way out. All the way. I have a spirit that is holding on to her baby. You're going to lose her now. Right now in Jesus' mighty name. Take your filthy hands off of her and offer her unborn baby right now. We thank you, God, that this child is dedicated to you. We destroy every form of connection that is demonic now in Jesus' name. We sever every ties right now. And we thank you for her healing and her deliverance. We break all curses. We break all witchcraft. We break all word curses right now in the name of just every white magic, every black magic, every voodoo, Santa, we are, we destroyed all now, every altar right now, every single altar. No altar left behind tonight. Right now, every altar, we destroy them all. Whether they're in the ocean, whether they're on the earth, whether they're in her, under the earth, or in the sky, we destroy them all. Right now, we don't care what sea or what ocean they're in. They are destroyed tonight in Jesus' mighty name. We destroy right now, all of them, all of them, all of them now in Jesus' name. And it's idols, every covenant, every oath, every pact, every agreement, every foul spirit under the sound of my voice that is connected, I command you to go. And you will make your way out now in Jesus' mighty name. You will cause no harm. You will cause no pain. Jesus is in charge, not you. You make your way out now, up and out, all the way out in Jesus' mighty name. All the way out now. We seal and apply the blood of Jesus over her and her baby. We apply the blood of Jesus over every person, over their bellies, over their wombs. We apply the blood of Jesus all over them from the crown of their heads unto the sole of their feet. Now in the name of Jesus, as mighty God, the night continues, Father God, even until tomorrow and the next day and the next day. I pray for purging in Jesus' mighty name. We shut down every work of the enemy now. We shut down every powers of the enemy now. Every demonic networking day will not transport anything now in Jesus' name. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every stubborn spirit that is attached to Stacey, we command it to go now in Jesus' name. We destroy it by the fire of the Holy Ghost and we command it to go, Father God, wherever there is attachment, wherever, God, that there is some form of paperwork, God, we thank you now for the destroying of this paperwork right now in the name of Jesus and we command this spirit to go. We command this spirit to go in Jesus' mighty name and you're going to make your way out now, up and out, all the way out. All the way out, all the way out. Now we break every ties and every grips in Jesus name. Amen. So you guys are going to continue to purge. I am led to stop and I will follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. 
um, you will continue to purge. Also, guys, if you know you need more deliverance, please feel free to set up deliverance sessions. Um, um, Odilin has deliverance. MDFM have deliverance. Dr. Wayne have deliverance. Try to get a deliverance session so you can have a one-on-one -on -one where you can, um, I would say, more thorough um, and in-depth deliverance session where it's a one-on-one, -on -one, amen, where we can dig more. Amen, guys. And April 2, sorry, woman of God, April 2 has deliverance session. So you guys, there, there are people connected del with deliverance ministry, uh, you know, um, Odalyn, Ark of the Covenant, that's the platform we're on, MDFM, um, it's me and um, Fastina, and you have April, you have Dr. Wayne, and um, who else, did I miss anyone? And see who has an opening um, and book your appointment where you can be delivered and set free. Amen. So we thank God for the deliverance um, process being started. Amen. Because God wants you to walk with him. Amen. So we thank God for the deliverance that took place tonight and for the continuous deliverance that will take place because your freedom is now. Amen. So we thank God for the breaking now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God for your lives. And even now, as God has delivered you and set you free in some shape or form, right now we thank God for the infilling. So I'm going to have you do a, a refilling prayer um, because we don't want you to stay empty. Amen. We want you to be filled up. So, Father God, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you now for filling up your people right now in the name of Jesus, wherever they have been delivered from something, God, from an encroachment, a spirit. Father God, I ask God that you will refill them. I ask God that you will fill that void right now in the name of just that emptiness. I pray that you will fill it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fill them, fill them, refill them now in the mighty name of Jesus. So repeat after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the refilling and the infilling. Holy Spirit, take complete control. And fill me up with your fruit and cultivate it in me. Everywhere that there is an emptiness, I pray that you will fill that void. I surrender myself to you completely. Take charge. Take control. I give you everything. Every part of me. Every part of my soul. My mind. Spirit soul and body is yours cover me under your blood as i leave cover me from the crown of my head unto the sole of my feet i will not leave here empty without your infilling so i open up myself before you now pour 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 yourself in me Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you for my healing. I believe that I am free. I believe that I am whole. Take control. Take charge. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for the spirit of God. Amen. Come true, Holy Spirit. Come true here. <laughs> Come true here, Holy Ghost, and have your way. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. You can stay on mute, but just bless the Lord, man. Wherever you are, just give the Lord some praise. Big up, Holy Spirit. Big up yourself. Listen, Holy Spirit came through here, okay? Holy Spirit came through here. Have your way, Lord. Glory to God. Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you for your people. We thank you for your goodness, for your glory. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. We magnify your grace. Come on, Diosha. Hallelujah. Come on, worship the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming through here. We thank you, hallelujah, that we have submitted and surrendered completely to you. Hallelujah. 
Have your way in and through us. Thank you for the infilling and the refilling. Thank you for your will being done. Hallelujah. Not by might, not by power, but it's only by your spirit. Hallelujah. We magnify you today. Hallelujah. We glorify you, God. There is none like you. Glory to God. Glory to God. We give you what is due unto you. Sacrifices of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Out of our heart, out of the, out of the abundance of our heart, our mouth speak. We're pouring out to you. We're pouring out to you. We're pouring out our hearts to you in praise and worship. We're pouring out our hearts to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, fill us up, fill us up, glory, glory, glory. We welcome you the more in our lives, hallelujah. Our lives will not be the same. Total transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. Increase in Jesus' name. The Bible says one plant, one waters, but it's God who gives the increase. We thank you for increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, perpetual increase, perpetual growth in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, the mask is off. You're unmasked tonight, says God. You are unmasked tonight, says God. Hallelujah, we glorify your name, God. We glorify your name, mighty God. We exalt your name. We give you all the praise. Come on, worship the Lord with me. We honor you today, God. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. You are great, oh God. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that's here with us on earth. Thank you. Hallelujah. We surrender. We submit. We yield in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph today. Come on, Neosha, because we have triumphed. We have triumphed over the enemy. We have triumphed, triumphed over the enemy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. He thought he had us, but God unmasked us. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We have triumphed over the enemy tonight because we are unmasked in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, for the unmasking. Yes, Lord. We will walk in freedom. We will walk in victory. We mm -hmm. are we are victims in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. Yes, God. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your great name. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy to be praised and adore God. There is nothing like you tonight, Father. Hallelujah. Only you can do the things that you do. Only you can set the captives free. Only you can break chains. You can break barriers. Thank you, God. That what the enemy said about us is not so. We choose to believe your truth. Hallelujah. We choose to believe your report. We choose to believe your decrees and God, what you have declared over us. It is so, and it shall not be otherwise. We say thank you, Lord. You are good, good Father. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. That you are worthy to be praised and adored. We pour in our hearts, God. We pour it all out tonight. In Jesus, we thank you for restoration now. We thank you, God, as we have resisted the enemy. We thank you that you're restoring us back to good health. Hallelujah. Let's worship God. Come on, somebody. Let's praise the name of our God. He is worthy to be praised and adored. There is nobody like Jehovah. You know that song? There is no God like Jehovah. Other gods, oh my God of Zion, they're lowercase g, but my God is the only true and living God. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. The lover of our soul. Come on. Return my the Holy Ghost and have your way. Thank you, Lord. We magnify your name, God. Hallelujah. We exalt you today. You are worthy of Praise it, come on, sick it, you are worthy of it, oh God. You are worthy of it, oh God. Break every barrier in Jesus' name. Tonight, ignite a fire in us, God. Ignite a fire in us, God. Let the fire of your of the altar that come on your shell never burn out. Let the fire of prayer never go low. Mighty God, we want to be on fire for you. We, we want to be hot. We don't want to be lukewarm because we'll spew us out. We don't want to be spewed out, God. We want to be on fire for you, God. We want to walk with you, Father. We want to walk with you, God. We want to uh, put these principles, God, and put them in, in effect in our life because we want to walk with you, God. Jesus. We want to walk with you for real. 
We don't want to have a form of godliness and deny your power, God. But we're going to walk with you for real, for real. We're reaching tonight. Take our hands, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, take our hands and lead us into all truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord gave me a scripture that he wants me to read in your earring. And it's Titus 3, 1 to 8. And it say, remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy towards all people. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, and led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, Passing our days in malice and envy, hatred by others and hating on one another. But when the goodness and the loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. He pours out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we might become ears according to the hope of eternal life. The saying is trustworthy. And I want you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good work. These things are, ex these things are excellent and profitable for people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We glorify the Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. You can read that on your own time. So it's a tight, tight, um, Titus. Three, one to eight. I don't know what you find us. Type us three, one to eight. Glory to God in the book. I'm telling you, Siri, I'm gonna lay hands on Siri, okay? I'm gonna lay hands on Siri tonight. All right. So if you do not know Jesus and you're hearing what has been taught, and you have heard or is hearing what um what we're saying tonight and you want to get to know Jesus. The Bible said in um in Romans 10 9 to 11 it said that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it's with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Believe and are just and, and are saved as the scripture says anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame so if you want to accept jesus as your lord and savior tonight you just simply say lord i confess with my mouth that jesus christ is lord and i believe in my heart that god raised him from the dead according to the word of god you are now saved amen and welcome Welcome to the kingdom, amen, glory to God. So Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. We cover each and every person. We come against backlash and retaliation of the enemy. We cancel now every agenda and every wicked scheme of the enemy now in Jesus' name. We release the fire of the Lord. And Father God, we blood block every attack that will try to come tonight in our dreams. We shut it down by fire now. Cover us in the dream room, God. We destroy every yoke of bondage. We thank you, God, for deliverance. We thank you for healing, and we thank you for setting the captives free. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. We give you all honor, and we surrender and submit to you. We thank you now that as we leave, this Zoom but never away from your presence, that you will continue to do a mighty work in us because we want to walk with you. We want to commune with you. We want to be as one with you by way of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, as always, big up yourself. Big up, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. We have to shout out, Holy Spirit, amen. 
Amen. A person of the Godhead, and he is God. You have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, I hope that you were blessed. Uh, Dr. Shen, uh, before you end, I just want to say something real quick. Um, powerful, powerful, powerful teaching. Guys, let's not leave without blessing a woman of God. She 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 poured out. She she gave us some good food. Amen. Some, some good food, some steak. Amen. Some good meat. Um. So let's let's also be a blessing to her. Not only did she feed us, but she also walked us through deliverance. Deliverance is not easy, y'all. There's a lot of warfare that comes with it. This opposition. She put herself on the front line. So if you can, please be a blessing to her. Um, I'm going to put the cash app um, in the chat. If you can, please, if you can, um, whatever the amount is, whatever the Lord puts on your heart to, to bless her, please do that. Let me just put it in the chat real quick. Uh, it's right here. There we go. It's, it's right there in the chat. So please be a blessing to her. All right. Um, let's not just leave without honoring her gifts and, and honoring the anointing on her life. Let me just say a quick word of prayer for you, woman of God. Father, I thank you for this woman of God. I thank you for the pouring out. I thank you for her life. I thank you for the gifts that you have placed on the inside of her, God. I pray against all retaliation, all backlash, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just pray that you would add unto her, Father, even the more, God. Lord, new strength, God, new authority, new oil, Father God, new territory, Father God. Let it be her portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover the woman of God and her children right now with the blood of Jesus. And we just ask that the angels of the Lord will surround the family, surround the house in Jesus' name from the north, the east, the south, and west. She is covered by the blood of Jesus Christ and her children in the name of Jesus. And we thank you now, Father. Add unto her what she has poured out, Father. Replenish her, Father God. Strengthen her body. Strengthen her inner man. We pray for her mind. We cancel every future attack against her mind. We declare it would not land the witchcraft. We declare now it would not land in the mighty name of Jesus, and we bless you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Back into your hands, woman of God. Amen. And amen. Thank you so much, Prophet Odalyn. I, I receive it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, Those of you who have um give, thank you so much. I appreciate it. God bless you guys. Um, I pray that you will receive a hundredfold back into your bosom in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that your wells will never run dry. Your baskets will never be empty as you have been a blessing to me. I pray that the Lord will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. Um, before I forgot, um, the Lord did place it upon my heart, um, Prophet O, to just breathe a prayer over you and your family. And I am glad Holy Spirit just reminded me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your manservant. I thank you for his obedience, oh, Father God, in allowing me to be on here tonight. Father, we thank you now that you will bless him and his wife and his family, God. I thank you now. As he have been, he, as he has been obedient, oh, Father God, I thank you now for multiplication. I thank you, God, for multiplying, mighty God. Hallelujah. Everything concerning him, his resources, God. I thank you now. I'm literally seeing the realm of the spirit, a giant door opening up. Because the Lord said, because of your obedience, he's opening up the door unto you. So Father God, we thank you now. For your for um, your manservant's obedience, and thank you that the Lord is saying that your obedience was attached to a reward. You see, you didn't do it for the reward, but there is an, a reward that was. Yes. So the Lord said, He's rewarding you for your obedience, Father God. We thank you now for doing it. We thank you that He is covered and His family is covered, and no harm shall come nigh their dwelling. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for increase and provision and protection. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Thank you guys <laughs> for joining us tonight. 
Um, I'm very grateful for the support. I'm grateful for the love. Um, thank you guys so much for being on here. We, I pray that the Lord bless each and every one of you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for um, all the love, for real, for real, and all the support. It's, it's, um, it's greatly appreciated. And we thank um, the man of God, Prophet O, for his obedience. Amen. Um, for allowing me to be on here tonight in your ear. And amen. Glory to God. We give God all the praise all the glory and all the honor. You guys can come off your mic and say hello because <laughs> we're going to close out now. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Happy Mother's Day to all of you all. Hello. Hello. God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for being on here. We bless the Lord. Amen. And um, we're going to close out now. I've already prayed out and we will close out. Um, man of God, is there any announcement you wanted to make? Not sure. Let me make sure. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, you can close it out. Woman of okay. God, you can close it out. So, amen. So, you know what? We're intercessors and we pray. So I'm going to pray again. <laughs> Bless God. I pray covering over each and every one of you. I pray blessings. I pray provision. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That God will grant you favor. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will allow God to move in your life in such a way that when you walk with God, that it will be evident. Amen. Hallelujah. There will be evidence that you're walking with God. You will not be the same. You will be transformed and changed completely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we thank you now, Father God, for everything that you have done and everything that you will continue to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you now. We thank you now. We thank you now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What you will continue to do, Father God, we rest in you, Father. We thank you for your people that is covered and protected. There is no one like our Jehovah God. And you will continue to minister to them because from this day forward, they will walk with you for real. They will release everything, every baggage and everything that is not like you. And they will truly walk with you, God, boldly, unafraid and unashamed. Their walk will be untainted. Hallelujah. They will allow you to order their steps, O oh Father, as they continue on their journey. Being kingdom citizens in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, guys, love you all. And thank you <laughs> for joining us. So we're going to close out now. Um, and, you know, hope to see you guys on, you know, another day in terms of, you know, when Prophet O has his um, gathering and his teachings. And we'll see you guys. Love you much. And I pray favor will locate you in Jesus' mighty name. Bye, guys. <laughs> Prophet, oh, you Bye. can end it. Bye, guys. Thank you guys Bye, for joining me. God bless you. Love you. Love you, Malan. Love you.